on the second page I've given you a curve sketching menu so this menu is for sketching curves that you're unfamiliar with so things like parabolas and cubics should be something you can sketch with uh, probably a little bit less effort than this uh, remember a sketch is not an accurate point by point plot but a, a neat diagram clearly showing the main features of the curve okay so the curve sketching menu I've given you has nine steps some of them you will use all the time some of them you won't always use the second page oh sorry a bit below that shows you some elements of a quality curve sketch so the axis should be labeled the curve should be labeled the curve shouldn't merge into any asymptotes and the curve should not look pointy or horizontal if it isn't pointy or horizontal okay so let's have a look stepping through this with an example so step one let's look at uh, actually step zero so let's think and predict about this so the first thing I'm seeing there is an X in the denominator so there's going to be an asymptote that is a vertical asymptote because you certainly can't have some number here that will allow the denominator to be zero so that's the first thing second thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare by uh, factorizing anything that we can so we've got a denominator there which you should identify as a difference of two squares so uh, let's factorize it out so fx equals 2x squared on x minus 3 x plus 3 okay next step let's look at the domain well the domain we know that x so from what we factorize x cannot equal 3 and x cannot equal negative 3 so step 3 we should consider if uh, this is an odd or even function so this is two unit work so let's uh, do f negative x and put that in so that's 2 negative x all squared negative x squared minus 9 which equals 2x squared because the negative becomes positive again negative x squared is just x squared which is the same as fx so therefore this is an even function and it's going to have symmetry and that symmetry is going to be about the x-axis sorry about the y-axis so it's going to flip over the y-axis okay next step we're going to look at some intercepts so uh, there is a zero when x equals zero and there are discontinuities at x equals three and negative three so let's have a look at what's happening in a table of values so let's just start with x let's look to the left of negative three let's look to the right of it and about zero let's see what happens nice table of values here so let's put some values in uh, this is 32 on 7 it's positive more interestingly uh, when negative 3 well that can't happen and neither can that so at negative 1 it's negative a quarter and it's a negative sign it's 0 1 is negative a quarter again and it's negative 3 can't happen and 4 32 over 7 and positive okay so we've had a bit of a look at intercepts and and where it's positive and negative let's consider the vertical asymptotes so we know the denominator vanishes at x equals 3 and x equals negative 3 so if we consider our table of values or our table of signs that we had the function approaches infinity positive infinity as x approaches 3 from the positive direction and it approaches negative infinity as x approaches 3 from the negative direction so how did you get that from the table of values well, let's just go back up 
So if we're looking at x is 3, as we're coming to 3, the sign is positive. So from the positive direction, the sign is positive. From the negative direction, the sign is negative. That's what I've done there. Okay, so on the other side, for x is negative 3, as we come at negative 3 from the positive direction, the sign is negative. So for fx will approach negative infinity as x approaches negative 3 from the positive direction and it approaches infinity as x approaches negative 3 from the negative direction. So horizontal asymptotes well, we can divide throughout by x squared, the process that we saw a minute ago. So that will give us fx equals 2, 1, minus 9 on x squared. And so fx approaches 2 as x approaches infinity and as x approaches negative infinity because this term here approaches 0. So y equals 2 is a horizontal asymptote. OK, so let's put that together in a sketch. Well, we could do some other things. We could uh, differentiate it and, and work all those things out, but we've pretty much got all that information without differentiating in this case. So we know that there's asymptote at 3 and negative 3. So let's just put some lines in for that. So let's grab a line. There's an asymptote here, an asymptote here, and we have an asymptote going across here. And that uh, will be at 2. Uh, we know that coming to negative 3 from the left, we're going positive, so it's going to be looking like this. And from uh, positive 3 from the right, it's also approaching positive. So as we approach negative 3 from the positive direction, the sign is negative, so we're down here, and as we approach 3 from the neg negative direction, the sign is negative, so we're going to get a parabola-like shape in here, and we also know that we have symmetry about the y-axis, so down the y-axis we can see that we have symmetry across. Okay, so that's our curve sketch. For the second example, I've given uh, that example worked here, and I will give you the notes from this notebook file on Edmodo so you can have a closer look at that and ask any questions in Edmodo if uh, this one doesn't make sense.